Hi guys, my name is Eugene. I'm the owner and co-founder of Choose, located in Market 88 in Kapayan. At Choose, we specialize in using local ingredients to do modern food, such as risottos, um, pastas, or a bit of what you call fusion. Today, I'll be answering some of the questions for food and beverage industries. A lot of the bad comments you usually get from customers or even your family members. Uh, I'll try to explain as objective as possible to you. All right, first question. Uh, this question is about restaurant etiquette. Cakap bagus-bagus, time ambil order. Pasta, janganlah teriak-teriak to order sama orang dapur. Not sure what that means. Okay, I think what this question is trying to say is not being very polite when they take orders. They scream to the kitchen. Okay, I guess it kind of depends on uh, what kind of eateries are you going for? Is it a kopitiam or a cafe? Sometimes screaming happens, especially in kopitiam, because it's usually very noisy. And that's why it's not that they are not being impolite, just um, speaking louder so people can hear the orders, the chefs can hear what, uh, what they are ordering. Okay, this is something that we get a lot, especially at our place because we are serving uh, handcrafted coffee beverage. So, eight ringgit punya kopi o. You must be very untung lo. Wow, six ringgit for espresso, not even full cup. Why you charge so expensive? Okay. To answer this question, um, first off, we need to know the differences between uh, kopi o and your espresso style coffee. Those two are very Two very different things. Kopi o usually is uh, what we call tradition, traditional coffee using uh, robusta coffee beans, which are usually cheaper, much cheaper in price compared to Arabica coffee, coffee beans, which are usually used in uh, places like Starbucks or your hipster cafes. So uh, for espresso-based coffees, uh, firstly, the cost of coffee beans are higher than uh, your usual, usual kopi o. And secondly, uh, there are skills, certain amount of skills required for, for us to craft a coffee beverage. First off, it's we need to invest in expensive espresso machines to make your coffee drinks, to make your espresso. Uh, secondly, uh, also a barista who need to learn up a lot of technical skills to make a good cup of espresso or your latte, cappuccino and all that. Okay, next question. All right. Why the food is different from the photo in the menu? Picture look big, come out small only. Nani. All right. Okay, that happens a lot. Uh, I think everywhere we go, some, some places will say, uh, picture is only for illustration only. The same goes for if you go to KFC, McDonald's, uh, I, I think they do have that, um, that, that line on the bottom of the menu. As a cafe restaurant owner at my place, we try to replicate as close as what we can, uh, as the same as our photo in the menu. The photo in our menu is also uh, taken by us, so one thing I can explain is one of the difference is we will choose the nicest looking piece of meat or nicest looking uh, ingredient to plate on the food and we get like very nice lighting angles to take a photo. Hence, the food that you see on our menu will look very different now. Of course, like, that's one. Another reason is also uh, ingredients don't come the same all the time. Uh, when we order like chicken meat, uh, chicken breast, sometimes it comes slightly smaller, slightly bigger. That's something that's very hard to control. Sometimes if the piece of chicken is too small, we'll give two pieces. So that's how we counter the potential comment by some customers to say, how come this is so small? 
which also will look different from what the menu is. Lah. Yeah, that's about it. Oops, sorry, I spoke too. Is it a global slash local trend that everyone is making their own version of burgers? Why are bubble tea outlets everywhere? Okay, so I think this this two question uh, we we put it together because I think uh, it relates to uh, food trends. Food trends are always happening in our industry, whether you like it or not. The part about the burgers. Uh, I think at some point we had a burger trend as well where everyone is just creating their own version of burgers, mixing their own things. Uh, bubble tea, yes, I think that's, that's a global trend. Why bubble tea trend came up is actually because of China. Uh, what happened in China a few years back, uh, someone brought in, brought in a bubble tea brand from Taiwan. I think it's one of it is Tiger Sugar. So one of the things that change is Instagram is, has become really popular now. So people are Instagramming uh, about the bubble tea. Now, nowadays the popular one is the brown sugar pearl fresh milk. So it looks very nice on photos and all that. So I think Instagram, social media is one of the reasons why bubble tea became a trend again. As for burgers, I think in Sabah, I personally don't see a lot of it, but recently I saw some burgers over here. People are trying to incorporate uh, local ingredients and also people starting making their own buns. Uh, people are doing pork, pork burgers, which is not as common here. So yeah, I, I don't think burgers is a global trend, I would say. Bubble tea, yes. Okay, customer complaints. Ordered first, but customer after us gets their order earlier than us. Why are not first, first come, first serve ka? Does it take 30 minutes or more for food ordered to be cooked? Okay. Right, so to answer the first question, okay, how it works in a restaurant, there can be a lot of orders coming in together and orders from different tables. Usually how, uh, kitchen works is they have different stations, they have the um, pan fry station, they have the grilling station, uh, deep frying station. So in the case of customer who order after you gets their food first, it can be your friend and the customer later on order the same thing. So that thing is cooked at the same time, hence the customer after you can get their food first. Okay, and does it take 30 minutes of food for food to be served? Uh, it's possible, where I work, we usually cook food from scratch which means we don't pre-cook uh, any form of chicken meat, steak and all that so uh, sometimes when it get, gets a bit busier uh, obviously food, will, like, food like steaks will take longer time to cook because you need to cook other things first then only after that you need to cook your steak steaks also takes time to cook after you grill it and you need to rest the steak so certain things will take uh, up to 30 minutes to, to cook that's normal uh, in our case if any food takes longer than 30 minutes we uh, we would tell the customers and apply, apologize to them at worst case if they're unhappy we'll probably try to compensate them with a free drink or a free cake food in Sabah Expensive AF. All right. Okay, that's that's true. Uh, that's true. If you compare to uh, other other states, uh, other parts of Malaysia, Penang, or even if you compare to KL, uh, KL side, some of the Kopitiam food is actually cheaper than Sabah. Um, I I've. I wondered about this for a long time as well because I used to work in um, KL. Uh, not until I came back to Sabah to start my own place. Then I started to understand some of the reasons why. Uh, first thing is ingredients are actually more expensive over here compared to West Malaysia. The other thing is the population. Usually our Kopitiam uh, 
in terms of like sales volume, it's very hard for us to compete with um, bigger places like Penang and KL. So some of them, they can sell cheaper with a lower margin is because they have the volume to sustain the business. Over here, uh, typical Kopitiam, unless it's those very famous ones, uh, average Kopitiam, uh, we need to set a certain amount of price for the food in order for it to sustain as a business, for us to be able to pay our rental, uh, electric, and our, our staff costs as well. That's about it for bad comments. I'm Eugene. I hope what I did just now explained some of your bad perceptions towards uh, FNB, some of the questions that you've been wondering. If you have any more questions, you can find me at Choose. I can answer them for you.